So SVO2 is something that you'll commonly see in the cardiac ICUs because it's really a surrogate for cardiac output. Now, the terminology can be a little bit confusing, but there's really two different uh, O2s that we can be talking about, and that's going to be a mixed venous O2, which is what you'll get off a pulmonary arterial catheter where you're sampling blood from the pulmonary artery, or you can do a central venous SAT, which you're getting from a central line, which is usually in the uh, SVC or the superior vena cava. And there's a little bit of a difference in terms of the value that you get. So when you get a mixed venous uh, sat that's coming from the pulmonary artery, that's usually going to be a little bit higher than if you're getting a central venous sat coming from a central line, which is sampling blood from the uh, superior vena cava. And that's because there's a higher extraction of oxygen from the brain itself. And so all of your blood venous return that's coming from the upper extremities is going to have a lower uh, venous sat saturation than your mixed venous saturation, which is actually combining blood blood from your lower extremities and your upper extremities. In general, people will say that the mixed venous sat is about five percentage points higher than a central venous sat. Now, normal SVO2s are about 60 to 80%, and if you end up getting that value, you can typically say that your patient has a normal cardiac output. Numbers that are lower than 60%, like let's say you end up with a SVO2 of 50%, those are patients who you're worried have lower cardiac outputs. And the reason why is because if you're circulating blood slower in the body, you're going to allow your tissues to extract more oxygen from your hemoglobin and so there's going to be less oxygen saturation as that hemoglobin returns back to the heart. Now the flip side of this is patients who are in high cardiac output states, like if they're in septic shock um, or distributive shock, where they actually have an increase in their cardiac output, those patients are going to have uh, elevated SVO2, probably higher than 75 or 80 percent. And when you have high cardiac output states, you basically reduce the amount of time that your peripheral tissues can extract oxygen from that hemoglobin. And so your hemoglobin is going to return back to your heart with more oxygen attached to it. Now, there's other fancier ways that you can get cardiac output like FIC and thermodilution. But central venous SAT is just another way that we can basically estimate someone's cardiac output. And it can be really helpful as we're weaning inotropes like epinephrine or dobutamine, or even patients who are on mechanical support like ECMO or left ventricular assist devices to determine how much support their heart really needs.